As you know, I'm Sophie, and these are my two little monkeys, Jasmine and Ari. Ari. This is my little but big brother, Oscar, and my little, mama. You said little Annie. but. You said little but big as big brother. Because he's taller than me, so he's my little brother. No, he's but in, he's you're taller than him when you sit down. Okay, but today oh we wanted. <laughs> to talk about Quakers. I talk oh. I'm really interested in Quakers because I've been doing a lot as you know on mental health and they I were quite <laughs> yes, you and they were quite pioneering in the mental health scene and um, for making care actually quite ethical for once. So how did you get involved so. in <laughs> how did you get involved in Quakers Osk? Well Panny, my stepmum, introduced me to Quakers in Sheffield. Mm. So, I thought it seemed really interesting, the fact that I get to sit in silence for a whole hour, because it's basically just relaxing, meditating, thinking things through my mind for an hour. About just so much things going on in my life, past, present and future. Things that are thinking about things that are good coming, or trying to get things out of my head that are bad, or trying to think what I can do in the future to, if there's anything I'm worried about. And then since I've been going to ones in Sheffield, I've been going to ones in Stoke as well. I, by looking online, I've managed to find it by myself and introduced myself okay. to the Quakers. Go on, People you. in Stoke. Jasmine, on, ask Jas. my way, please. And since then, I've now, for nearly a year and a half, been going to Quakers, and it's a good thing for me, because after We've done the meeting. We basically get to have team biscuits and socialise. So now I have. So that's one place where I've now got plenty of friends, people who I talk to on Facebook and stuff. So yes, that's just all friendly people out there. So. How did you feel about when you first went to Quake as well? I felt it was a very um, peaceful, peaceful space and a chance just to contemplate and be still and quiet when a lot of the Mama. world Mama. is very, very busy. Mama. Do you not find it a little bit like Mama. odd when everything's so busy and then suddenly to go in into a room and be quiet? Mama. No, it's really relaxing. Mama. Yeah, really relaxing. And it makes you look Mama. at life in a different way, just to have that quiet space. What, have you got a question? Mama. Oh, good question, Jazz. <laughs> Jazz has asked, how did you find out Quakers was there? Um, I found out about Quakers because somebody I was working with quite a long time ago um, told me about Quakers. So I went to a meeting and we just sat in silence with a candle. How do you know when it was there? So my friend told me about it. And have you found it helps you, Quakers? Yes, it does help. And then it's not as noisy as these. <laughs> it's the basic yeah, thing I get to do at the end of the week after hard work and stuff. I can just have the day to go, have an hour at Quakers where I can relax and chill and chill for the rest of the day as well. Before beginning another week. 